Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add your new professional email to your existing Gmail inbox so you can check your emails right alongside your regular email. So you're going to hit settings here in the upper right corner and then we're going to hit see all settings. And then in here we're going to hit the accounts tab along the top. And then once we're in the accounts tab towards the bottom there's going to be a section that says check mail from other accounts. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to hit this blue add a mail account button. And then here's where you type in your email address that you want to add. So in this case, it'll be demo at mytreasureadventures.com. We're going to hit next. And then the username here is your email address. And then the password is what we sent you or what you selected. And then the pop server, this third one here, will always be mail.yourdomain.com. Dot com. So in this case, it's mail.mytreasureadventures.com. And then the port, we're going to select port 995. And then for these checkboxes here, uh, the only two we have to worry about are these two in the middle. Uh, we want to enable this one. Uh, that just makes sure your email is secure and uh, only the people who should be seeing it can see it. And then this one here is if you want to optionally label the messages that come into your inbox. Uh, so what that will do is whenever a message comes in from your professional email, Google will automatically label that message so it provides a more clear indication that that's from your business account rather than your personal account so you don't accidentally reply and use the wrong language or anything like that. For this situation, I'm going to leave it unchecked, but it doesn't affect whether you're able to receive your emails or not. So then we're going to hit add account. In a couple seconds, it's going to give you a screen like this. Since we're using Gmail for our regular email, we also want to be able to send as this account. So I'm going to select yes, and then I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask the name I want to send as. So for this, I'm just going to choose my name. And then we want to have this checkbox that says treat as an alias enabled. So you can use it just like a regular email address. We're going to go to the next step. It's going to show us a little bit of information here. So the SMTP server we want to use, it will always be server.aaronsmarketing.com. I'll have that link down in the description section for this video as well, as well, so you can just copy and paste that over. And the port we're using will be port 465. And then the username is just your full email address again. And the password is the regular password that you set up. And then for these two options here, you can just leave it selected as SSL. Uh, that's the recommended and more secure option, uh, so you shouldn't need to worry about this. So I'm going to hit Add Account. And in a couple seconds, it's going to want me to verify this new email address here, just to make sure uh, that everything's good. So for now, I'm going to minimize this window. And I'm going to go check that email inbox. So to get to that email inbox, you go to your website. So in this example, it's My Treasure Adventures dot com slash webmail all one word you're gonna hit enter and it's gonna bring you to the login screen here so once again it's your full email address and then the password we selected here so it'll log in and then what you want to do is you just want to hit the open button right here and this will take you into your email inbox so you can see here's that confirmation email waiting for us the thing we're interested in is this number right here. So we're going to copy this confirmation code. We're going to go back to Gmail, and then we're going to bring that window that we minimized back up here. And then we're just going to paste that code that we copied from that confirmation email right in. We're going to hit verify. And everything's gone OK. It doesn't really look like it. Uh, for some reason, Gmail doesn't display a success message. Uh, so if you hit verify and that window disappears, don't worry. You didn't do anything wrong. Uh, it's working as it should. Um, and if something did go wrong, don't worry, Gmail will definitely tell you about it. So at this point, your screen should be looking something similar to this. You should see your regular email account, and you should see the email account you just added here, along with the email account you just added right here. So now, if you go to your inbox, and you go to compose a new message, you can see now you can select which email account it's coming from. So I can send it from my email address, or I could send it from my new professional email address that I just added. I can send a message from this account just like I'm sending it from the regular mail client. So I can send a message to myself here. Whoops, I gotta type in my email address here.
then I'm going to send this message here. And then you can see almost instantly I just got that message. So I just got the message from demo at mytreasuredventures.com and that went to my email address here. So I'm going to reply to this message. And then I'll send this message here. Now you can see that I just had a full email conversation. You can see that the new message just came in as well. You can see that this account has been successfully added to my inbox and I can send and receive just like I would any other accounts. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.